having an amazing week. I'm super excited to talk to you today because I want to tell you about the number one belief that you need to get clients. The number one belief you need to get clients. So you've probably been working super hard in your business. You've been, you know, making content, writing out emails, talking to people, and you don't have the results you want in your business, which are clients signing up with you. So let me be clear, right? You might be thinking that there's already a ton of coaches out there. There's it's such a competitive market. There's a ton of health and fitness coaches and everybody's selling amazing programs and they all have a bigger audience than you and everybody loves them more, right? But we are all operating with the same machinery. We all have our, a human brain operating our actions every single day. So what keeps us from getting out there and making offers is our own mind drama about doing it. When I say the number one thing you need to get clients, you need to believe and be sold on your offer. You need to believe and be sold on yourself, okay? So a lot of you are thinking, I don't know what to do every day. There's just too much to do when you're stuck in overwhelm and, and confusion, right? And that confusion story. Or I don't have it all figured out yet. I don't even have my whole program built out yet. It's not perfect yet, right? The whole, it needs to be perfect before I can offer it to someone's story. Perfectionism, right? I don't know what to do. You know, I don't know if I can really help them get results. What if they don't get results with me when they sign up with me, right? That's a real fear, that story that you tell yourself right? I'm not skilled enough. I'm not expert enough. I don't even trust myself story. My current life is too busy. I work full time. I don't know if I have enough time to help people and get bring on clients. That story, I actually used to have that story. And I told a coach that one time. But honestly, I think the reason I'm not signing clients right now is because I don't know if I can help take on more clients. I don't know if I can help more people. And guess what? I stopped signing clients. The clients didn't stop coming to me. I wasn't, it didn't stop having conversations with people, but I stopped signing them because I didn't believe that I could help more people. So you've got to be sold on yourself and you've got to be sold on your offer. Okay, you have to be buying yourself every single day. When you get up to go to work and to put work into your business, you have to be 100% certain and sold on yourself and your offer, right? A lot of you are working super hard on your business and you're still not hitting goals, right? Maybe you're signing a few clients, but you're not hitting income goals every month. Or maybe you're working super hard and you're not signing any clients, but you're doing all this work in your business, right? I want to offer to you that it's the same exact reason that your clients and your potential clients haven't done the same thing, right? They've been trying all these different diets, all these different workout plans, all of the things, right? And they haven't found permanent success. It's the same thing. So I want you to think about this. You have to sell yourself before you can sell anyone else on you, okay? If you don't do the job of believing in yourself, no one's ever gonna do the job for you. How can you even ask them to be willing to do something you're not even willing to do yourself, right? A lot of my clients, I tell them this, they're waiting for someone to buy their offer to validate them and make them feel like, yes, I, my offer is worth it, I'm worth it, and people do want to work with me. But nobody's ever gonna buy from you if you're putting that energy out there into the world, right? Because so many of you aren't sold, and that's why you're not taking action every day, right? It's why you're confused. It's why you're overwhelmed. It's why you have all these stories in your mind. It's because deep down, you have a lack of belief in your own ability to help people, right? It's why you're not crystal clear on who you help, what your niche is, what problems you solve, right? If you don't believe in yourself, you're confused, you're insecure, you're not taking action in your current life, 
because the story that you're believing about your current life and your current reality and your current nine to five job and all of the current things that are safe and comfortable are so important to you that you're afraid to let go of that identity and step into, no, I am a full-time health and fitness coach and I give people an amazing transformation. And if they're not working with me, they're missing out on an amazing transformation in their life. They need me now. Right. I, when I started my business, I had to be more sold on my offer and my ability to help people than I was my current life, my current full-time job. So I know the transformation that needs to go on up here because I also had to make it right. I had to be sold, I had to be committed, and I had to be dedicated to that belief every single day instead of where I was now, like where I, my current reality, right? And that's why I'm sitting here with you now, having built multiple five-figure months consistently, multiple six-figure business in health and fitness coaching. But so many of you are sold on your business, on your stories about whether your offer is worth it, and all of your excuses about why you can't start, why it's not ready yet, what if you can't help them because you don't have it perfect yet, and why you can't do it. Right? All of that is more real to you. And you believe in that so much, and you're, you're literally not sold on the new version of you, the new offer that you can put out into the world. So no wonder you're not making money. No wonder you're not making the amount of money that you want to be making because when I was making no money in my health and fitness business and I transformed to making multiple six figures, I had to be 100% sold on myself and the ability that I had to transform lives right? Because you're asking people to step outside their comfort zone. You're asking people to get uncomfortable and believe and believe in you and believe in themselves to transform. And that's scary for people. Nobody's ever going to buy from you. If you don't have enough belief, they can feel that energetic exchange. They're not going to buy because they're going to stay scared too. They're going to stay in scarcity. They're going to stay in their comfort zones. And they're never going to have that transformation. Your clients need you to be sold on yourself so that you can help them. You literally have to be that soul on your offer because they are going to borrow that belief from you when they enroll with you. So you have to pick who your offer is for, what problem you solve, who do you help. And I know right now, if you're not even sold on yourself and your ability to help people, it feels really complicated and hard to pick that, to pick who your person is. It feels really complicated, but truly and honestly, the, what is your offer? Who is it for? And believe that you can help them. Start believing you can help them so that you can actually start helping more people. It's way more simple than our brains make it out to be. When you don't have these basic things decided, that's when you're, you're spinning your wheels in your business and you're stuck in being busy in your business, but not believing in your business. Right? Right? And that's why a lot of all the busy work you're doing in your business isn't landing with your ideal clients, right? If you have zero passion behind it and zero belief behind it, that's not gonna work. And, and a lot of my clients have tried that. And that energetic experience that you're giving potential clients, whether you're intending to or not, is what they're picking up on. It's what you're putting out in the world. So you haven't decided to love your business and feel passionate about what you're offering and, and decide what your offer is even, right? There's that level of deciding your offer and then there's that level of believing your offer is a complete, obvious, no-brainer, they need to work with you, they need your solution. That's the level of belief. Like, you have to be like... If they don't believe in my offer and they're not signing up to work with me, either they're confused or they're crazy or both, right? And, and so I'm not over here feeling rejected if someone doesn't buy it because I know and I have so much belief in my offer that it doesn't let me down if someone can't get out of their own way and get out of their own fear and, and confusion because I know how many people need my offer, right? 
And, but so many of you are waiting for someone to believe in your offer. You're waiting for clients to validate you before you can believe in it in yourself. Right? But that's not how it works. People don't buy from you before you believe in yourself. They buy from you when you believe and when you create your belief and when you find your belief. Like seriously, how I sell my online coach intensive and why I have people enrolling in my online coach intensive, it's so clear to me that this was always my zone of genius. And maybe you're in that place where some days you believe and other days you don't believe and this is kind of this back and forth where you're growing. That's called evolving into the better version of yourself. Um, and that's one of the things that we focus heavily on in the online coach intensive is believing in your offer and believing in yourself to be that vehicle for transformation in people's lives. That's what you are. You provide a transformation for people. I remember being very confused when I first started as a health and fitness coach, feeling like it, you know, it must not be a great enough program. No one's buying it, but that's not true is that they can't buy it when I'm not buying it. Do you guys see what I'm saying here? This is super powerful stuff, super powerful. So I really want you this to sink in for you. This is the belief that you have to be sold on. And the reason you're not taking massive action in your business is because you're not sold on your belief and you need some coaching to get sold on that belief. And I want you guys to think about that. The reason you're not making money is not because you don't have the right people coming to you or the right people on your list or the right people following you on Facebook. It's because you have a thought about your program that you don't believe you can help them. They can feel that energy coming off of you. The whole world can feel it. But that's something that can, you can change in an instant. You can shift out of that energy. Okay, so when you believe in yourself, you believe in your offer, and you are sold on that, you will be taking action now and all of the time. You won't be, you will be excited about your offer and helping people and show up every day in your business to deliver that message. So think about it, really stop. If you believed in yourself, you would be out there and you would be taking action to take that taking the next step. You would get started, you wouldn't wait for clarity and confidence, you would just go. And you would know deep down that the only time to make a change is in the current moment because you would have experienced that yourself in your own transformation, which is the transformation your clients are going to borrow from you in your program. People aren't going to buy from you if they don't believe in you, your program, and that now is the time to get started. When you believe, you will know what to say and you will know what to do and you will know the decisions to make and anything else is not belief. It's not you being sold and, you, and you're not selling. When you believe in yourself and you take action from that place and you take the simple, the next steps in your business and you continue to take the, the next steps and the next steps every day in your business because you believe so strongly that people need your offer. Okay. That is what I want to share with you today. That is what I want to offer to you. If you're not getting enough clients, the number one thing you need to believe to get clients is you. Believe in is your offer, is you and your ability to help people, okay? So everyone, now it's your turn. You get to decide what story you want to keep believing in and holding on to. Whatever your current story is, that's keeping you from enrolling clients and feeling confident that you can help people and that your people need your offer. Or you can simply decide to start believing that people need you, people need your offer in the world, and that your people are waiting for you to start believing in yourself so that you can help them. Okay. All right, guys. I hope you have an amazing week. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.